This is a mini track guide for Gen 4 Fixed at Auto Club, specifically for some people in my league, but you might be, if you're on the official series, you might find some use out of this, depending on who's watching. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to do general line and lifting slash breaking markers, and then a qualifying example here at the end. We're on a few different lines here. I'm headed into, I'm going to pause as little as I can, so the markers I use, and it's going to be for most, uh, for both corners, and this is going to be for long run pace. Uh, you can drive in further than this, but your tires are going to get used up very quickly. Uh, qualifying, you're going to obviously drive in pretty deep, but the three board is what I reference for both turn one and three. Um, and I said that I use that as my reference point. That doesn't mean that the board's directly next to my car. It's kind of just when it hits a certain space perspective for me. For me, that is right here is where I first start lifting off. So it's before I actually get to the through board. I use a little bit of trail break. Um, this example, I'm using this first seam. It's kind of the, gotta be really patient, get back into throttle. I'm not back to full throttle until now. So pretty much when I'm on the straight. I'm gonna slow down here real quick. Make sure it's, there's your three board again. And you can see where I'm lifting. So even a little bit earlier than uh, I did for turn one. But same deal, I wanna try and Get my lefts here on this seam. And there's multiple lines you can run here. The higher you run, the more you're gonna burn up your right front tire. I wouldn't advise running super high, more than a couple laps at a time, trying to complete a pass. Otherwise, you're just gonna really be using your tire up. So here's running a little bit lower. This is All right, John. obviously as That's 15 minutes. low as you can get. Ignore crew chief talking in the background there. Same thing, three board is my reference point I use. A little bit of trail break. Try and get the car onto the bottom. You gotta be more patient and let the car roll a little bit more to run all the way on the bottom. I think I use the second to second to top seam here. This is probably as high as I would advise running. Um, you can run that very top seam, but you are very easily gonna get into the wall if you do it for too long, and this car gets kinda stuck in the wall. You definitely don't wanna do that. The example will be this next lap. I, I am able to run it in one and two, and then in three and four I get up into the wall and it just gets stuck in it for the entire turn. This is what it would look like running the entire, like, very, very top. Very, very fine line. And I was almost good here in three and four, but I get back in the throttle a little bit too much and it gets stuck into the wall, and I'm just stuck in the wall for that whole turn. Anyways, so that's generally what I, I'm looking for is just use that three board as your reference marker. Obviously, if you, if you only have like a 10 lap run, you can drive in a little bit deeper. Um, but if you're driving in much deeper than that, you're just going to really start hemorrhaging time on the long run and getting really, really tight. Um, example of qualifying. This would have been fast enough to, I think, been competing for the pole in the Gen 4 race I did the other day. All right. So leaving pit road, nothing groundbreaking here. I'm gonna run. Use my regular three board as my marker, run a little bit of a higher seam, get all my momentum up off the outside. 
I cut it down to the bottom here, just carry the momentum down the hill, short the track just a little bit. I'm gonna drive into the two board, but I'm gonna turn in a little bit earlier. Uh, the two board, a little bit more brake, try and get into the throttle early and carry that speed on exit. Obviously, getting really close to the wall there. Same thing here is two board. I think you got a can't drive in quite as deep, board-wise. Uh, I don't get to the, all the way to the bottom here. Um, I actually end up running a faster lap on the second lap here. Which is uncommon in this car. You your fast laps in the first lap. Going for a late apex here, hard into the throttle. I'm able to just have a better line. And you can see I'm getting loose. But I was able to just keep in the power better on exit there. And same thing on three and four here. I'm just able to keep it lower, which allows me to get into the power a little bit better. All the way up to the wall. And back down. Let me know if you got any questions. I know this is very brief, but I just wanted to be very basic.